Hello and welcome to my presentation. I am Sergio Fabris, Product Manager for Onexis product line at RLS. This presentation is about setting the encoder zero position after installation of Onexis magnetic encoders. This feature is available for encoders made with our ASIC AM4096. The procedure requires setting the desired mechanical starting position and electronically setting the encoder zero position. The new zero position is then permanently stored in the ASIC. The possible options are setting the zero position by using the UPRG AM4096 USB interface. I will use our evaluation board for AM4096 called RMK4. The UPRG AM4096 is a USB interface designed for programming the ASIC's main characteristics as well as setting the zero position. The interface is connected to free USB port and to TWI bus of RMK4. Let the demo software run. The position shown follows the position of the magnet. To set the new zero position, click on the reset button. Setting the zero position by using the zero tool. The demonstration will run on our RMC22 encoder already mounted on the motor. The encoder output is connected to our E201 USB interface to show the position. The encoder output position follows the position of the shaft. To set the new zero position, use the zero tool to short the two zero pads on the board. Setting the zero position of RM44 by using a zero pen. This is a plint mounted with our standard encoder RM44 and the magnet as well as the display to show the output position. The RM44 contains status LED and marked target. First set the desired mechanical zero position and then use the zero pen to set the encoder zero position. Touch the target with the apex of the zero pen. The status LED goes off. Hold the zero pen for three seconds. When the status LED goes red, the new zero position is set and permanently stored in RM44. Setting the zero position by SATI. The demonstration will run on our standard board RMB28 for SATI, which is mounted on the standard RE58 flange. SATI is a standalone interface designed for optimizing the encoder position error as well as setting the encoder zero position. It is connected to two wire interface bus. The encoder output is connected to our USB interface E201 to show the position. The encoder output position follows the position of the shaft. To set the encoder zero position, push and hold the zero button for at least three seconds. 